What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing a review of the Huawei P30 and we're going to be doing an unboxing of it as well. So guys what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up the box now. So I have a box cutter right here which is my trusty multi-tool and I'm going to open up with this and we're just going to see what's inside. Now I'm pretty sure this is a quite easy to open package. In fact, I probably don't need a knife because I think inside here there's literally just a sticky seal which is holding it together. And then I'm pretty sure we can just pull out one side of the box. I think it's actually that simple. Wait, let me see. It is actually attached. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna cut this corner. We'll just cut down here. So we're just gonna cut down this side and we're just gonna pull it open. It's gonna be really messy. I want to open this up neat, but like I said, don't want to damage the phone inside. And here we have the inner box. Inside the inner box, we have the small phone box. So I'm not actually going to cut this, I'm just going to push it out because we really don't need to break any more of the cardboard than we need to. Now you'll see the box looks kind of nice. I'm just going to do a quick close up shot. And if I turn it around, that's what the box looks like from the side. Kind of a pretty nice box here, just a normal white phone box. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to break open the seal because it does have a little tesco mobile seal here because i do have a contract with them there's another seal here you do have to break it open on both sides because they need to see if you forcibly opened it as part of the warranty so that's just a protection sort of sorts now we should be able to pull off the lid and here we have the phone inside what's important is the actual body of the phone right here now you'll see i think you should be able to actually see that it does already have a screen protector on it now this is kind of like one of those screen protectors which is supposed to peel off this is the product wrapping so i'm hoping that there is actually something underneath that protects the phone because i have actually ordered a cover for this but it hasn't yet come so that's going to be kind of interesting we're just going to peel off the cover so it do actually yeah okay so it does have some kind of undercover now i don't want to mess with this there is a little seal here where we just pull it off i'm pretty sure we pull it off here right yeah okay that's the seal to open it don't want to break anything and i'm going to hold it by the back this is actually the aurora model it does come in a few different colors which we'll discuss after but this is the aurora model which is the aurora blue there is actually a little red latch here which you can peel the protector forwards but there's literally no real reason to do that unless you don't want the protector on the screen which kind of sucks that's kind of a really bad idea because obviously you want the screen protector on that's just the normal phone body guys and then the back this is the standard aurora blue one and i think we should actually have some more stuff in here though we should actually have some wires so i'm going to open this up and see if we've got any wires or anything because we know that that's not everything they're going to give us guys so obviously you have the standard two manuals in this little lid piece and then inside you do have a few different gadgets now we have the standard earphones it does come with a headset or a pair of earphones which should be pretty useful then it has the charging cable which just like every single phone charging cable is a usb one obviously and then tucked away inside here you do obviously have the plug attachment to plug the usb into the top and then you can plug that into the outlet so that's the charger that it comes with and we're going to leave those alone for now and I'm going to put everything back in the box in the manual. Now we're going to talk about the phone and turn it on. So my version which I actually got is actually in the Aurora blue version but there are actually multiple colours and it's a very reflective material which is what they all look like other than the black because there is actually three different renditions. We have this which is the Aurora, that's the standard one which is usually the primary selection. Then you have the Breathing Crystal which is a bright blue version and that's a lot brighter than this which you'd be quite surprised about because this is actually a really bright colour. And then you have the standard black because obviously everyone likes the standard black colour. I was actually thinking about getting the black colour but blue is my favorite color so even though it's a little bit of an obnoxious color shade and it's very reflective i thought i would still go for this style so for the display of the phone we're just going to look at the screen not going to turn it on yet like i said before but it is a 6.1 inch oled screen display and this is designed to give a broader and a better experience when we're using apps or browsing the web now unlocking the phone which i'll show you also soon it actually uses a fingerprint scanner which is kind of similar to how those DNA ancestry companies collect all of your DNA but then again if you're not doing anything bad like most of us not really anything you should be worried about 
The mobile chipset itself is actually the Kirin 980, which is the first 7nm processor chip. Don't really know too much about the processor, but I just did want to make that clear in case you're big on processor chips. And a lot of the other phones, like the Hawaii Mate phones and the Hawaii Lite phones, do use the same chip. This model of the phone does have 128 gigabytes of space and 6 gigabytes of RAM, and you can actually increase or decrease the storage space dependency based on where you buy it from or what your contract is for an example but you can also get a lot larger volumes if you get the pro model of the phone which i don't have now the phone is actually really fast at charging it does actually use something called the supercharge system from hawaii which is a fast charging system and this makes it charge really quickly which is also great because the phone itself actually doesn't utilize too much power so you're not going to lose too much charge as well so now we're going to move on to some of the camera side parts of this phone so the camera does actually use a trio camera setup system which you can see here there is actually three separate lenses and this is called the Leica triple camera system this contains a 40 megapixel super sensing camera a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens that offers 5 times hybrid zoom. So when you go to 5 times, that will be the optical zoom, and anything further than that is going to switch to the digital zoom, which you're going to start to lose quality with the closer you get. This makes the P30 camera super great to capture all types. Of different photos as you can see we have the three different lenses here and most of them are quite flush with the camera you don't have any lenses that are really deep into the body like some phones now we are going to take the camera itself for a little bit of a spin soon but basically it has 30 times digital zoom so like i said after we go past that five times initial optical zoom you can go up to 30 times on the digital zoom and it's great to capture the moon or sky because the color sensory rule for the camera has been changed from the standard RGGB color set to RYYB by Hawaii to allow for more light. The camera allows for great night photography and when compared to other phones or cameras this is because it's great as it actually allows you to crank up the ISO value which is obviously the response to light levels so you can crank up the ISO to over 204,800 which is ridiculous because if you do actually use a DSLR camera like what I'm recording this video on you'll actually realize how high that actually is because it only goes up to a few thousand on a standard camera or DSLR camera meaning even extreme dark situations can be captured. I haven't really tested this yet because this is a fresh unboxing, but on standard DSLRs, the higher the ISO, the more grainy and noisy a photo is. I'm unsure if this is the case with phone cameras, most likely, but I'm pretty sure it is because naturally you won't be able to capture these photos in a low light situation. If you're a fan of landscape photography though, you should be able to capture shots of the mountains and sky above really nicely because the natural views can be captured really well on the wide angle lens and it has a lot of space to get everything in the shot. I mostly use a Nikon DSLR for my photography, which is the D5200, so I wouldn't really use a phone camera as my primary source, but I'm actually really looking eager to actually try this and take it for a spin, and we will take a few photos soon. Now, you can actually use the camera for macro photography, up to I think around 2.5 centimeters close which allows for finer details on the object to shine and be more visible so if you zoom in on animal fur patterns or colorful bird feathers this is really useful for things like that basically. The front camera is also designed for selfies in mind so this is the 32 megapixel segment of the camera setup and it uses AI recognition to produce the best selfies using accurate sharpness, brightness and contouring levels to make your face look the best possible. So if you're someone who's obviously interested in a lot of selfies, personally I'm not, then this might be great for you. So now we're going to look at the phone a little bit and then I'm going to turn it on and we're going to see what it's like. So on the corner you do actually have the volume slider on the right side here, you might not be able to see it very well, which means if you are right handed or if you hold your phone in your right hand, which even I do mostly and I'm left handed, you can access the volume really easily. And also the power button's actually just below it here. I'm not sure if you can see that, I'll try and bring it just a little bit closer. I'm not sure how close this will focus. But basically, you should be able to see there's a little red strip here, this little button above my finger, that's the power button there as well. So, the buttons are really close together. You do, obviously, on the bottom, 
you do have the jacks and plug sockets so as you can see here we do have the headphone jack and the charger below and I'm only presuming that these dots or holes are for the speakers and that's basically it there's not really much to actually worry about other than the camera and one thing we didn't show before is below the camera you do actually have the backlight part here and that's how to obviously backlit your photos. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press the power button and hope this thing will actually turn on because I haven't even turned this on yet. Not sure if we're going to have to charge it but we do actually have the display turning on here so obviously it uses Android, most people are aware about that. I'm not really sure which version of the operating system or OS it does actually use but it does use Android and the speaker doesn't sound too bad to be honest. So this is the full Android setup. So we're just gonna go through the phone setup. English United Kingdom, so we're gonna click get started and we're gonna select our region and click next. And I'm just gonna agree to the terms of uses. You can import your data to this device from a different Android device, an iPhone, a Hawaii cloud, which I'm guessing is similar to iCloud and Google Cloud. I do have a different Android not really sure what it lets you import so i'm not going to choose to import anything it does offer you to actually look at your wi-fi screen as well which i did skip and then you have to use your google account to sign in they're going to ask you to go through the google services and agree to everything i'm not going to back up the google drive i'm going to allow for location because obviously google maps and stuff i'm not going to allow this voice recognition because i'm not sure if that's the okay google thing or not and then i'm going to skip the hawaii id because if i'm honest i don't want the cloud and I don't want the Hawaii ID at all. Enable device protection to prevent unauthorized access to your device. So we can set the fingerprint ID. I'm just gonna skip this and do this personally myself. So now we've actually basically set up everything. I've gone through all the things which require me to do it personally and to be safe. But it will obviously ask you to install popular apps. So we have Groupon, random apps like these. Most of them, I'm guessing, are sponsored because we have things like LinkedIn and Groupon already ticked which I clearly don't want and it has actually some really good apps to be honest I could actually install some of these some of them are games some entertainment I'm just gonna click later because I don't want to clutter them with apps and I don't want it to install things with updates or adds to it as well that's basically the whole phone updated so now we have music we have video we have the gallery we have the chrome browser and the camera I'm just gonna go ahead and use the camera because obviously we did want to test out the camera and I did talk about it extensively so we can actually switch the camera modes and now here we have the camera so this is the camera you can see master AI automatically optimizes the settings based on what you're shooting simple point and shoot for perfect photo so you don't really have to specifically do anything yourself it does automatically sense everything and you probably can't see this I'm gonna try and move the mouse in view if you could actually see this the quality of the camera actually looks really good on the preview to be honest my phone camera on my other camera is really crap so i'm just going to take a random photo obviously touching it makes it focus I'm just going to take a random photo there is a few different settings it does say you can tap for video video is really interesting to me because I really want to know if the video is good and then you have pro mode the only difference is you can change the ISO and you can change the auto focusing and everything yourself so you can kind of do that if you want to do film photography but basic photos just point and shoot portrait all it does is it uses the optional beauty effects basically that's the only difference but you can still I'm pretty sure you can still swap it to be you can change your beauty level here, I'm not sure if you can see that. And you should be able to add different effects, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure yet how to switch the camera. Oh, okay, there's a button here. So you can switch the camera, you can see me talking into the camera. It doesn't look too bad, so I'm just going to take a really basic photo. And you can put mirroring on, you can kind of edit it. You can probably put effects on, but I'm going to put mirror off because I want it just to be a normal photo. And we're going to look at those photos. That photo doesn't look too bad. It looks to be a pretty good quality photo. And then we can scroll to the other one. That mouse photo looks really good. So the camera does actually look pretty nice. Like I said, I do want to test this on landscape photography or when I go on holiday, hopefully I'll be able to test this. And yeah, that is basically the camera setup. And it comes with your basic apps, video, gallery, themes, optimizer it comes with facebook and booking.com so it does come with some apps which you don't necessarily want on your phone it does install some when they deploy it to you but apart from that it's not really cluttered and it's currently on 61 percent battery but i'll get that charged and i think what we'll do is i'll pull this little sticker off because on the protector there is a little sticker i'm pretty sure you can just pull the sticker off so the protector stays on but you don't have this annoying sticker i'm just going to pull that off 
did create a little bit of an air bubble, which is kind of annoying. Need to kind of further customize this personally and unlock it and put my own background on, install apps and the like. But this was my review and unboxing of the Hawaii P30 phone. So if you want to see more videos, I'll be doing product reviews, challenges, maybe pranks, just some fun stuff on this channel. Make sure to subscribe to my first channel, which is The Blue Crusader, where I upload gameplay and stuff like that. But for this channel, I'll be uploading fun stuff like travel, vlogs, challenges, things like that. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more awesome product reviews like this and fun videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.